A tiny electronic device caused big problems for Amara Harris. Is that a roller coaster? Harris was accused of stealing a classmate's AirPods she believed were hers. When confronted, the then high school junior says she returned the AirPods to school officials. But a school resource officer at Naperville North High School still issued a $100 ticket for a theft. Harris says Naperville North. So they giving out tickets. Naperville North high school where would that be naperville north how, how do we know how do we know this was like a mistaken uh she said it was it's, uh, <laughs> illinois mistaken removal of property <laughs> you heard me you said it's in illinois yeah illinois yep uh are the uh, look naperville illinois um <laughs> These, because uh, they must have migrated from Chicago. Uh, it's yeah. about it's about uh forty minutes west of Chicago driving. Mm. Wow, yeah. wow, that, that's very close. That's very close. yeah. That's like right there. Then it's like right out, right outside. Woo. Uh. Five percent blacks, so it's a it's fifty eight percent white, eighteen percent Asian, and thirteen percent Hispanic. This is a great school. This is a phenomenal this like, school. This is diversity. Yeah, this, this school is oh man, wow! And look, their proficiency in mathematics. <laughs> The proficiency of mathematics is, is 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 um in 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 the in the state is twenty percent in reading is um the, hold on what, what does it say subject proficiency so the school is fifty eight percent fifty eight percent of the students are, are proficient in math mm. and fifty seven are proficient in reading. And 83 are proficient in science. 83? What the fuck? They have 5,000 students. Oh, shit. This is a huge high school. Okay. So, yeah. Let's see what this sister. A tiny electronic what? device caused big problems for Amara Harris. Is that a roller coaster? Harris was accused of stealing a classmate's AirPods she believed were hers. When confronted, the then high school junior says she returned the AirPods to school officials. But a school resource officer at Naperville North High School still issued a $100 ticket for a theft Harris says never happened. I was angry. I was sad. I felt that I was targeted um, with this case. Harris refused to pay the targeted fine prompting nearly a four-year legal battle he refused to pay the fine of course prompting nearly a four-year legal battle there were more than 50 hearings and a two-day trial where she won amara's issued this ticket uh and by her own courage decides that she's not going to pay the ticket because she did nothing wrong it created i think a tension between the city uh, for needing now to double down and defend on a practice that is not only questionable, but we believe is racist. Now, yeah. Harris is taking the city of Naperville to court, filing a $20 million civil suit, claiming malicious <laughs> prosecution and civil rights violation. But she won, though. What the fuck? They're the devil, man. These people, these people are just the, the devil. They're just the devil. They ruin things. This school has got good practice. Look, if you... If you steal somebody's shit, we give you a hundred dollar fine. That's a high trust society. She comes from a low trust society. She doesn't fit in there. She doesn't belong at that school with all those Asians and whites. She doesn't belong there. She's in there, and now when she gets punished, because listen, let me tell you something, man. I I I use, I got ear pods in right now, man. And listen, man. I know my ear pods because I have a, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know your fucking ear pods. 
You don't just pick up somebody else fucking ear pods. So she stole them, is what you're saying. Or well, she tried to. What it is. I mean, no matter what the excuse you come up with, oh, I mistakenly took it. You know, it, does, it is still a call of theft. Yeah. That's the rules there. Yeah, you have to pay the fee. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And, and she got this janky ass, um, Ben Crump ass nigga, and she filing the civil rights civil her civil rights were violated wait now harris is taking the city of naperville to wait hold on so so she had so she picked up someone else's airpods and and she said allegedly that she thought they were hers that's the story yeah she gave them back but it's like nah you already took them shit so you gotta pay the fine they probably got an honor system there and everything. You know how you know how white people are. They 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 got like an honor system and shit. But, you know what I'm saying? But this is why I what you're saying is probably true because AirPods have their own like fucking you can they they usually have the name of the person whose uh AirPods they are. So she, it's so many have, different brands. First of all, it's so many different brands. That like it's the odds of you having the same exact brand and color as somebody next to you is very low. Then when you use them, right, they gotta be paired to your device, right? So like right, that's what I'm, right, that's up, what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, exactly. I can't just pick up your op- AirPods and use and them. They connect them. Yeah, they gotta be paired to your yeah, device. She, she's lying, bro. Should have just suspended her and threw her out to school. That's all they did. No, don't even give them a fine. Just suspend, suspend, suspend. Suspend her, give her the give her a bucket of chicken and send her on her way, bro. Salute to economics A11. He says, My guy is someone who studied chemistry and finance in college. I'm going to need y'all to eventually explain this DNA claim at a <laughs> level. Gotta explain. You can't just arbitrarily vaguely say to you, well, man, my man, uh, you must be new to the channel, man. <laughs> you must be very new to the channel, man. Um, we extensively, I don't think any channel has gone over the DNA situation um, more than this channel, man. Um, and the, the DNA not only shows up in, you know, the brain, it shows up in everything. The, we're, we're different in a myriad of ways, okay? A myriad of ways. Needing now to double down and defend on a practice that is not only questionable, but we believe is illegal. Now, Harris is taking the city of Naperville to court, filing a $20 million civil suit, claiming malicious prosecution and civil rights violations. It requires now the intervention of the courts to get the city's attention. I hope it will say to the legislature, to the governor uh, and to the city that we have to change how we abuse the system and use the process against the interests of our students. The suit also names the officer who issued the ticket as a defendant. That same officer testifying during the jury trial, he had no direct evidence Harris had stolen the AirPods. In a statement, the city attorney wrote, quote, we believe the allegations are without merit, saying in part the city is prepared to vigorously defend this lawsuit, adding the police officers relied on eyewitness statements in issuing the citation. The fact that the jury acquitted Ms. Harris does not negate the factual basis for the actions of the city and its officers. The officers named in the suit and the school district didn't respond to our request for comment. A ProPublica investigation found black students in Illinois. Oh my God, please. But I wonder why. I wonder why they're ticking it more than their white peers. Not the they racism. Steal more. Not well, the racism Chicago, of the gap here, bro. But, Please, but, man. but in Chicago, black students, mind you, Chicago is ran by by basically blacks. Chicago black students are forty eight. They make up forty eight percent or more of the arrested students in schools. Think about how many black Chicago students get murdered or charged with murder every year compared to the amount of white kids that get charged with murder or murder or charged with the shooting or charged with a carjacking. It's probably like literally of all the Illinois students charged with carjacking 
this last year, 98.9% of them were black and the rest were Latinos. Of all the black kids charged with firearms related offenses, all the way down to possession, all the way up to homicide. How come when they make the comparisons, they don't make them? They don't make them uh, throughout. Main meaning that they don't compare blacks and whites, oh, a, Asians yeah. and whites, Asians and blacks, Hispanics and whites, Hispanics and blacks, Hispanics and Asians. They don't want to bring up the Asians. That's that's gonna make niggas look even worse, bro. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, it's gonna, white people look better because it's gonna be like, damn, they definitely ain't no racism. The way these Asians blowing them out the water. Because if they was racist, they wouldn't stand for this. Bro, um, that's, yeah, I just I just hate the racism of the gap shit, man. It's like, oh, look, it's a disparity between black and whites. Uh, racism, like, it's so lazy, bro. It could be so many other different factors. And the first one they always go to is racism, bro. But here's the thing. I think even if you're a culture guy, if you're a guy who thinks that these, this stuff is culture, you can still explain this. If you're a DNA guy, it, it, no matter what kind of guy you are, if you're a there's not enough programs guy, it's still blacks are twice as like Whatever it is, it explains, the, it, it, it justifies this. This is, this is no matter, this is what it is, yes. And here's the thing. I guarantee you that you got to move heaven and earth to ticket a black kid, as we can see in this fucking story. And then yet they're still ticketed twice as much as what kids. Caught red-handed, by the way. I witnessed, I witnessed, pointed you out. I bet every school in Illinois is trying to lower its black kids' ticketed rate. And it's still like this. There's nothing you can do about it. But here's the one thing you can do. Eliminate ticketing students. And guess what that does? Well, the, the system. What, you have they, less, less rules. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna blame suspensions on racism eventually, also. This is what the, this is the game. They already do that shit. They already do it. Yeah. They blame yeah. they blame low test scores on racism. Yeah. They blame like anything that any disparity they can find between blacks and whites because that's the main. It's all is let's keep that's always the the comparison they're gonna go to, bro. Is black and white. They're gonna figure out. Well, they're not gonna even try to figure out. They're just gonna say it's racism, bro. Yeah. This is We're heavily this is, implied. This right here is they're already gonna road this school. This school is done. This school, not even the school, the sister, because then they're gonna have to get rid of this in the whole district, then the state. Now you got kids. Now the white kids are gonna start, the schools are gonna get worse because the rules are gonna be slacked. And once the rules are slacked, the black kids are gonna take advantage of the rules being slacked. Then the white kids are gonna parents are gonna pull their kids out of the school, then the test scores are gonna drop. The Asian kids are going to next pull their kids out of the school and the test scores are going to drop even more. And then the school is going to be like, what, what is it? 5% black. Now schools going by once they get rid of this shit in, 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 in 20 years, this school will be 50% black um, or 70% black even in, in 20 years. And then, um, all the white parents and Asian parents have to pick up extra shifts to pay for private school and shit. This this fucks every. There's a domino effect to this shit. The yeah, white this. were twice as likely to receive a ticket at a school compared to their white classmates. Is this a different form of racism? That's an interesting question. The reason there's yeah. a civil rights aspect to it is that there's a disparate application of the issuance of tickets on the basis of race. Despite everything. A moment of triumph for Harris after a taxing case. Graduating last month with a bachelor's degree from Spelman College in Atlanta. You are out. 
So she went on to Spelman. She went from that school to go on to Spelman. Of HBC, one of the best HBCUs, and graduated. Like you, do you hear this, uh, race bather? Man, this a disparity of tickets being handed out on the basis of race, and they never have to prove this shit, bro. And you know, goddamn well, niggas in Chicago are fucking criminal. Are, I'm prone to criminality. Triumph for Harris after a taxing case. Graduating last month with a bachelor's degree from Spelman College in Atlanta. You were always a great helper. Marla Baker witnessed the emotional toll on her daughter, who she says was an outgoing cheerleader, but now barely speaks above a whisper. I've had a home. <laughs> that ticket. So a hundred dollar ticket. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought y'all was strong, man. I thought y'all black women was strong. A hundred dollar ticket four years ago, and she don't she don't speak over whisper now. She sure was whispering in that court courtroom. I'm telling you, man, this shit is crazy, man. This shit is these people, black people are fucking nuts, man. Marla Baker witnessed the emotional toll on her daughter, who she says was an outgoing cheerleader, but now barely speaks above a whisper. I try to hold my tears back because I know she's fighting through depression, she's fighting through anxiety, and she's getting back to. Yeah, what is um, she going to do when something real in life happens, man? I'm not even going to try to sit here and brag, man. I think I've had a great life, man. I think I've had a phenomenal life, man. A phenomenal life, man. But, you know, challenges happen throughout the years, man. What I'd like to know what her the, the, some of the other challenges she's had in her life, man, and this caused her so much and you know so much problems, man. The black experience can't be this hard as niggas make it out to be if 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 this is what's gonna like send you into a motherfucking deep depression and get you all this anxiety. It, it can't be that hard to be black like how these niggas claim it is. Nah, man. Shout out to Kings. King Salah Bean on uh, on Rumble. He says, take the damn challenge, the $5 challenge. Yeah, man. Take the challenge, man, on 4th of July, man. Support the damn channel, man. Um, you, see, you see how this civil rights shit, it just invigorates something in niggas, bro. I don't... It's just something about going head up with the fuck quote-unquote system it's just it gives niggas energy bro it's our politic man it's how we politic in this country man it's how we politic this is how we've um in the 60s with the protesting and shit we evolved to politic that way we don't politic the way everybody else politics with delegates and passing laws and getting ordinance changes and putting shit on the ballot and da 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 We politic the way our brain would normally work. Gab up and make a big fuss and make a bunch of noise. Hold it down, though. I got to go do something. Yeah, but not all of us do this, man. This is this, you know, this is this, it's a cultural thing. You know, some people come from different cultures and they don't, they couldn't care less what, the, you know, the, the whites are doing, Hispanics are doing. They more focus on their own group. So it's just a cultural thing. It's an American thing. That's that's just what that is. It's an Anglo thing. Uh, I think uh, a lot of American Negroes are infatuated with whites, infatuated with, they have an unhealthy of obsession uh, with the white societies. And they kind of, they, they have an attitude as if they, I, I don't know, they're constantly chasing white shadows. I don't know why. So I don't know. Bro, I mean, I get what you're saying, but if you say this to a black person, bro, a quote-unquote FBA, they're going to either call you a tether or human, by the way. That's what that is. You know, when you, when they call, when they call like foreign blacks, that tethers and all that stuff, that's just another way of, of, of subhuman. But that has always been in their culture, too to treat other um, ethnic groups as subhumans outside of the whites. 
you know they when they talk they talk as if the hispanics do not exist in 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 this land you know like they they incorporate hispanics into their uh into their culture without asking permission they say black and brown and you know stuff like that and they call other blacks tethered and things of that nature and in the in the 80s and in the 70s when these other groups were coming in they used to rob them and kill them and this is a lot of them this is why they went and they went on to form gangs and things of that nature because of of this behavior so Mm -hmm. This is exactly why other groups do not talk to them. They are having a conversation with them. A lot of people in America can't tell you they, they've never been inside of a Mexican dude's house. They've never been inside of the Salvadorian's house. They've never been inside of a Jamaican dude's house. They've never been around inside of a Haitian dude's house. I don't even realize that. Mm. They don't really know where the other ethnic groups are. If they're so, I think they're like so obsessed with the Europeans that they don't even know where the other groups like they they're not even aware of the other groups. It's just white, 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 24 hours a day. It's all it's just it never ends either, bro. Never ends. And it's like a it's a fatal attraction. Like they have to leave their they have to leave their neighborhoods. Yo, you gotta get out the hood. Go where? To the white man's neighborhood. And it's they they constantly chasing white shadows. They, they chase wherever the white men go. They chase them. They never figured out like you know what yo let's make this you know like the Chinese Chinatown. You know like you go uh, you know you go in Brooklyn. There's a huge Haitian and Jamaican po um, population in certain areas. They've been there for years. Like you know you go into places like in Texas, the Nigerian dudes. They live in certain areas. They've been there for years. In Massachusetts, I don't know if you ever been there. In Boston. Uh, uh. Cape Verdeans, you know, Cape Verdeans are like a, a bunch of, uh, they're like slave descent, but they they live in, it's an island off of the coast of Africa. There's certain, oh, areas, yeah. certain areas they live in Massachusetts, they've been there for years. They've established their neighbors. They got their little stores and everything. Dominicans, they have their own stores, they have their own little neighborhoods. They don't want to leave. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They don't view the Europeans' neighborhood as like, the, you know, heaven on earth or something yeah, like dude. that. Yeah. It's like, yo, fix your neighborhood up, bro. Get your store. Stop hating. Stop making fake ass excuses. Yo, foreigners, when they come to America, they be getting ten thousand. I hear that. <laughs> yo, you know how many niggas I heard see this shit? <laughs> they be saying the dumbest things, bro. I'm like, damn, foreigners get all this bread just for coming now, here. Well, now they probably get ten thousand. That's because of Mister, you know, Rabbi Joe Biden. And all these, you know, these migrants that are coming from these um, socialist countries that's there to destroy. But yeah, it's it's a cult, bro. It's like yo, these immigrants when they get here, yes, the white man set them all. And yes. look, and then and then the conspiracy come in. They like they set it all up to yes. specific, specifically the whole black progress back, and so we don't have our own businesses. And this is where the hatred forms. Because it goes from there, then it's like, oh, they don't like us, they don't like us. And then you have Jojo and Leroy go outside every day robbing people. They catch that African dude on that corner, uh, African cap dude. They shoot him in his dome, they take his cash. They go into uh, 7 Eleven, they see that Ar the, the Indian dude, they shoot him and take his money because they don't view him as a human being. You see what I'm saying? But it all starts from the community in itself. So a lot of times, a lot of these guys that's out there from that community that's shooting and killing and stuff like that, that attitude, it starts from the community in itself. Yep. It, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That behavior is nurtured. I don't agree with the DNA stuff, by the way. <laughs> I, you see, I, I, I see. I don't agree with stuff like that. I so, agree. I believe in lawlessness. I believe in nurtured. I believe in um, culture and things of that nature. I think every evil starts from a small plant and it grows into a big tree. So are you? So are you saying DNA has nothing to do with anything that any of these problems? I don't. I see. My thing is, I'm I'm not a DNA expert, and I haven't looked into DNA, so I can't make like what he said there. He said. He said, you can't arbitrarily vaguely say DNA. Right. He's actually correct. 
because none of us are actually DNA expert. He said in his statement, he said, I studied chemistry and finance in college. So this man, he has a background. I mean, he should I don't actually- believe if you believe him, I mean that's I don't believe this nigga, bro. He every oh, no. time he comments, he sounds like well, since I'm bit. my my thing is whether I believe or not is irrelevant because I don't know much about DNA like that as far as behavioral. You see what I mean? So I can't comment on it because I don't know. Yeah, maybe says, maybe, maybe says, on the panel now. He I, says I, uh as some as some who studied chemistry and finance in college? Like when niggas say that, they just mean they took they had a a, a, a mandatory chem one hundred and one. They all <laughs> study chem in college, bro. bro. <laughs> you say so? You saying he took like algebra one, niggas and took- he, he made you the liberal arts? <laughs> like my uncle. You sound like my uncle. One time this fool came up to my uncle talking about, oh, yeah, you know, I, I'm going, I went to this university. And my uncle was like, yo, spell psychology. <laughs> <laughs> now, my uncle, he went to school in the 70s, man. He was a highly intelligent dude, bro. In the 70s, you re- when, you went to, when you went to college in the 70s, like, you really had to study. There was no nonsense, none of this stuff here, you know, curving grades and stuff like that. It had none of that stuff, you know? Bro, I guarantee you economics, uh he hasn't taken count, bro. I guarantee you, bro. Probably. But my whole thing with him also, I, I why don't he should have came up there and joined the panel? If this is what it is, right. like, it, oh. we we've uh challenged him to uh to show up before and he, he's never accepted the challenge. Um but wait, the the reason why I say his DNA. Cause like you, even though like you said, I haven't done extensive research. I have listened to a lot of uh, people talk about it, but you know that's that's not my research, so I can't really. But the reason why I'm more in line with his way of thinking, because as you look at history, you look at the whites in themselves. Like look at you look at European history, and you start looking at the Germanic tribes, how they were considered savages, barbarians, as they entered into Roman land, they simply change their behavior you see what i'm saying mm. i mean even if you was to say well dna says because the romans could have easily said well the dna says that these barbarians that are coming from the east they're liable to you know do this and do that but as they entered and conquered the roman lands and they intertwined with the roman land they simply change their behavior you see what i mean they, even in england uh a lot of the british that came here in the united that, that originally started coming here in the united states where they in the areas where they where where, where they left uh england it was an area known as basically like non-inversion of white trash where they spoke in vulgarity uh they believed in perversion and stuff like that but as the years went by they eventually fell in line and accepted the laws See the see the thing. The thing I think the thing with the blacks is that they don't accept laws. But why do you think that is though? It's a it's the the culture of lawlessness starts in the home. But the, the, re- the reason I say it ha- to me it has to a large part of this has to be DNA because when I when you say all right what's the main shit that we look at with niggas that's a major problem violence. Fucking lawlessness, uh, low academic achievement. All these like all stems from the laws. But, the- we, but when you observe niggas, bro, this isn't an American thing, bro. This shit, you can go to the continent, bro, and niggas well, going through the same shit. But well, 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 wait a minute now, because in the continent of Africa, when you look at Africa in itself as far as crime rates, there's only a few places that actually stands out where the blacks were taken as slaves the, those areas like nigeria places like that and then you have south then you have um south africa and then you go up towards like kenya outside of that is very they're, they're very into laws i had the kind of lawlessness in, in that continent if you think about that because i've looked up the murder rate and shit like that that's yeah. high bro and not, you're not in some of these countries the murder rate is very low it um I was speaking to someone on another panel. One of those yeah, one of those countries in Africa, I was like, holy shit, this shit is low. But he said they 
basically uh, enacted some draconian shit. Yeah, well, yeah. You take that, then yeah. to me, that proves that you have to go above and beyond for niggas, bro. Yeah, but you, they, well, you know what? This is the same thing in the Arab lands. In the Arab lands, they they enact a, a, allegedly draconian laws themselves. Yeah, you know what I mean, so that probably says a, some shit about them too. It it, had, it it's probably takes a certain amount of force to get these uh, groups of people to act right, bro. Europeans used to be in this. The Europeans used to enact dracon, draconian laws themselves until they eventually were nurtured into what they are today. You see what I'm saying? When you go back to the Dark Ages, you go back to the days of the Romans and so forth like that, they were fierce. So you're saying, so and, look what you're saying, bro. It took them doing some, it, it took environmental pressures to sort of, it, it, I guess it, it, uh, damn, what's the word? It, it I guess it changed like, is I could somebody can explain this shit better than me, but the environmental yeah. pressures change the people to where it, it changed certain uh predis predispositions they might have had to certain things over time. Yeah, which now, you don't have to do that anymore. But to me, that even says DNA even more because you had to do that back then to, to cultivate the type of people that you have now. Yeah, they've evolved into something to to more and more. Uh, but evolution is DNA. Uh, evolution isn't nurture. Evolution is like you're changing the actual cold. Yeah, but the, people. It, see, but when you're dealing with DNA, you can't, like he said, you just can't put it on everyone. You see what I'm saying? Like if you're using DNA, then you would have to say, like, well, you know what? The whites were towards where the lands like Scandinavia, they tend to be more docile. The, yeah, I'm, and then you when you get the whites like in, in uh the Anglo Saxons, they tend to be more rugged. The Germans they tend to speak in clenched teeth, like this. They don't move their mouth at all. They don't make no hand gestures. Yeah, I could say that's probably uh... <laughs> because now now if you say well is that that must be DNA. Well then their DNA and the Scandinavians the same. See, I don't. This is where you you kind of like tread. I don't, I don't uh, know. I don't know if it's I don't know if all white I don't like I know we look at them all as white people, but I'm pretty sure it's some sort of genetic they probably all cluster very closely together, but I guarantee if you go to like the Balkan regions and and they all the way in the east of uh, Europe and then you go out to the west, it probably probably is some sort of divergence somewhere. Or more and right. anywhere where it's a divergence, I would I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna manifest itself in certain behaviors and thought processes but i believe i you know i i don't i don't never count any group of people out and i always me because it's just my personality i always think i can eventually change you so this is my personality so i'm always going to lean uh in in this man's comments i'm because this, this is just my personality i always feel like a group of people can always change you see what i'm saying I don't count any group out. Yeah, but you would have to change it through, like you said, it would have to be no. some very heavy environmental hey, pressure on these people. When you have rugged people, you have to use heavy handedness in order for them to change. But the problem with the blacks here is that they will not allow you to use heavy handed tactics on them because they don't believe that they need to change. They believe you need to change. You need to adapt to them. You need to evolve into their ways. That's the problem. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. Let's let's get back to uh, see what else is going on here in um, here in uh, Blackistan on Fourth of July, man. Uh, let's see. And the FBI and Department of Homeland Security are issuing a warning about large 4th of July celebrations. According to intelligence bulletins obtained by ABC News, the federal agencies say the biggest threats come from both lone offenders and small groups. 